everyone. Thanks for joining me for story time today. Today we have a story time all about princes and princesses. So to start, I thought we would sing if you're a prince or a princess. Okay, so you can follow along with the actions I do. If you're a prince or a princess, clap your hands. If you're a prince or a princess, clap your hands. If you're a prince or a princess, and you surely want to show it. If you're a prince and a princess, clap your hands. If you're a prince or a princess, turn around. If you're a prince or a princess, turn around. If you're a prince or a princess, and you surely want to show it. If you're a prince or a princess, turn around. If you're a prince or a princess, touch the ground. If you're a prince or a princess, touch the ground. If you're a prince or a princess, and you surely want to show it. If you're a prince or a princess, touch the ground. Very good. So often in stories of princes and princesses, there are dragons. And I have some dragons here. I thought we would look at the colors of these dragons. Red dragon, yellow dragon, green dragon, orange dragon, purple dragon too. How many dragons do we see? Count them along with me. One, two, three, four, five. Five dragons flying in the sky. Now five big dragons with great big scales. One lost his balance and bumped his tail. He cried, ouch, and he breathed some fire, and then he flew away higher and higher. How many dragons do we have left? One, two, three, four. Four little dragons with great big scales. One lost his balance and bumped his tail. He cried, ouch, and he breathed some fire, and then he flew away higher and higher. How many dragons does that leave? Let's count them. One, two, three. Three little dragons with great big scales. One lost his balance and bumped his tail. He cried, ouch, and he breathed some fire. Then he flew away higher and higher. So I see an orange and a purple dragon left. Let's count them. One, two. Two little dragons with great big scales. One lost his balance and bumped his tail. He cried, ouch, and he breathed some fire. Then he flew away higher and higher. And that leaves one. One little dragon with great big scales. He lost his balance and bumped his tail. He cried, ouch, and he breathed some fire. Then he flew away higher and higher. So those were our dragons. Now the story that I'd like to share with you today, it's called Princess Hair, and it's written by Sherry Miller. And in this story, you'll, you will see that princesses come in all different shapes and sizes, and they all have their own personalities and things that they like to do. So um, in this story, we will read about all kinds of princesses. It's called Princess Hair. Now, all princesses wear crowns, but underneath their crowns, not all princesses have the same hair. Some princesses wear puffs and play pretend. Others wear twist outs and they twirl around. Princesses with dreadlocks love to draw and draw and draw. Princesses with kinks love to think. And princesses with frohawks rock. Princesses with head wraps take long naps. Princesses with curls wear pearls. And princesses with teeny weeny afros wear teeny weeny bows. Princesses with bantu knots bake a lot. Princesses with afros do si do. Princesses with braids throw parades. Princesses with buns love to run. 
princesses with blowouts bounce and bounce and bounce. Princesses with twists wrap gifts. And nappy princesses are happy princesses. Not every princess has the same hair, but every princess loves her princess hair. So again, in that story, it shows anyone can be a princess, no matter what kind of hair you have and what you're interested in doing. So thanks so much for joining me for story time today. We'll see you again later.